Hi all, Rod Deichman, Library of Workshops, and I have a very special guest with me today, Robin Deichman. Now, a lot of you guys know Robin from the cupcake decorating class that we've had, and what a turnout and what fun so far. I wanted to bring Robin in and talk a little bit about what we did uh, this first month throughout the summer and what we have planned. As a matter of fact, we're going to go over the cupcakes, so I'm going to hand this over to Robin. Robin? Hi. So, you know, we had a great time yes, with the did. classes that we've been doing this month. Yeah, so and, you fun. know, I have to start off with not only do I love cupcakes, I love decorating cupcakes, I love eating cupcakes, but I also love Disney. So I am super excited to offer these Disney-inspired cupcake decorating classes. No, and, and I think that the turnout you've had and, and the excitement on the kids' faces and everything that's happened has really been something special. I, I mean, you're packing the houses, which is really nice. Did you expect that? Yeah, you know, I, I, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I knew, I knew, I, I, I kind of think I thought people would have fun, but I wasn't anticipating how much fun that we could actually be having or how many people would show up. And I was super excited to see so many kids show up with their parents right. and just watching families working on these, this project together. That probably was the highlight right. of so far. So because they're filling up so fast, you'd recommend that if somebody wanted one to go ahead and get back on the website and check out and see if there's some spaces available? Absolutely. RSVPing ahead of time is, is key, especially for this class because there's only so so many pieces of, uh, oh, so many cupcakes and so many pieces, right. so many frostings and, you know, so many supplies right. together. So definitely uh, look ahead on the, on the website and I'm sure we'll let you know where all that is and uh, RSVP ahead still, of time to get a ticket. But people could still stop by. They can still stop by and um, if you aren't RSVP to begin with and you come in I mean we may be we may have enough supplies otherwise you know you might sit and watch but so far we've had an okay time it, right. it's been it's been fine so but uh, yeah I think one of the fun parts that that, that, that I like and I've been able to sit in on a class or two is the interaction between you and the kids especially when it comes to another one of your passions that I'm well aware of is <laughs> is the pin trading idea and, oh yeah and the Disney pins tell them a little bit about that okay like I said I love Disney so I'm a Disney pin collector and I you know I have some on my apron here and you know this is Remy the the mouse from Ratatouille or is he I guess he's a rat from Ratatouille he's wearing a chef hat so he's my little muse but because we're going to be uh decorating Monster Inc inspired cupcakes I also have a uh, Mike Wazowski right here but um on top of that I brought and I guess I have to stand up on my apron I have some other pins see here's on my pocket and um, those are for trading if anybody wants to trade pins. Now, like I said, I like collecting Disney pins. So if any anybody comes to a workshop and, and likes to trade Disney pins, just bring some. I'll trade some with you. Okay. Two for fun for Disney. So what are we going to learn right now? Well, like I said, I'm super excited about this. So we're going to be visiting the city of Monstropolis. Mm -hmm. And we are going to create some Monsters, Inc. inspired cupcakes out of our favorite scare workers. Mike Wazowski and Sully. Do you now wait? Now we know Mike Wazowski's full name. Yes, we do. Do you know Sully's? <sighs> Sully's name? And she likes to put me on the spot. Uh, you? I believe it is his name Ed. No, come. On. <laughs> <laughs> no. Good guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> no, it's James P. Sullivan. He was actually, I think, he was named after his father. Oh, but you. and so he's Sully for short. Anyway, so we're going to be making these. So, uh, are you ready? Well, yes. Now, these cupcakes, the the Disney inspired, the the mm -hmm. Ed and Mike cupcakes. Right. Um, now, these were things that you've done this month. Is this are, exactly. are these going to be redone again, exactly. or is um, it brand new cupcakes? Not necessarily. I mean, maybe a hit and miss here and there. But this month, we're doing Monsters Inc. inspired cupcakes. The uh, and when I say this month, I mean the month of June. Uh, next month we'll be doing different cupcakes because what I want to do is if I hit the same library or general area people can travel from library to library and learn a new technique or a different type of cupcake to make so oh, next month I'll be making two different cupcakes well that sounds exciting and again just to make sure everybody knows you don't need a library card to attend one of these nor do you have to belong in somebody's district if you see a, a class that you want to join or if there's there's an open available slot in one and not in the other please grab that one it's a small drive away, doesn't cost a thing, and um, just come to anyone you want. It. The whole point of the program is to really bring advocacy for the library, all of them combined. Okay, okay. so, uh, so let's get started. Absolutely. So let's work on 
sully first. Okay. Now, when I'm doing ins uh, inspired type cupcakes or after characters, what I like to do is give the essence of the character. <laughs> I'm not going to, you know, like, otherwise I could just maybe put him right on top right of my cupcake, top. but that's maybe better. So when I'm looking at both Mike and Sully, especially since we're going to start with Sully, uh, the essence of him is his, he's very large and it's his fur. So right. we're going to create some Sully fur. Now, what I have in these bags here, before you, oh, that's the wrong color, I'm sorry. What I have is some buttercream frosting that I've made, and, and we'll link here uh, to my recipe for buttercream frosting so you'll know how to make it. You want to use buttercream frosting more so than the canned frosting because it'll hold up better. So when you're, when you're piping frosting out of a tip, it'll hold its shape. Now, um, the tips that we're gonna use for Sully it's this call it's a Wilton tip number 233 and again we're gonna link I have a guide afterwards that we can link to that people can mm -hmm. download if they want to show you all the supplies that we use it almost looks like a thimble it looks like a thimble that is the size of the tip it looks exactly like a thimble but there's a lot of little holes at the end and if anyone's uh, done cake decorating it's also known as a grass tip mm -hmm. so it's a similar tip you would use for example if you're making like an, uh, an Easter basket cupcake and you use it to make the grass well we're gonna use it to make Sully's fur sounds like fun now Sully is two colors he's blue and he's purple so I have two bags of blue and purple that will be doing so I'm going to pick up and also what I like to do when I'm making cupcakes you know for, for, for the family or for parties or whatever is I like to make sure I, I pick a paper for my cupcake that so you know that one. works so I have blue for Sully and you know we'll be doing the green for Mike Wazowski but we'll get to that in a minute now also I, and I should have mentioned this is that when we when I color the buttercream frosting you want to use a, a gel icing color because Why? Why it won't thin the icing out like a regular food color does you know the regular food color that we all usually kind of have in our cupboard and it's liquid and we maybe color Easter eggs with it yes it thins the frosting out so a gel does it now you can get a gel in um, either in a little jar or you can get it in a tube that's a gel liquid but it's specifically made for frosting so so the pause coloring kit that we still have for me sure isn't going to work <laughs> um, not so much okay. <laughs> okay so what we're gonna do is we're Sorry, gonna pause I know right <laughs> we're gonna hold the bag in whatever your dominant hand is so I'm okay. a right-handed so I'm gonna hold it in this hand just kind of hold it in the palm of your hand what I've done here too at the top is I've got a little elastic to help hold it close that, that's it, not a rubber band no it's not a rubber band it's elastic specifically made uh, to hold icing bags but if you don't have that you can twist the bag and hold it with your thumb so you're gonna hold it in your palm and put your thumb at the top and when you're and then you're gonna kind of cradle your hand around it okay. so um, I'm gonna show you a couple and then you're gonna go ahead and do it okay. what you want to do for this is we're just gonna make almost like dots so we're gonna squeeze and keep pressure going pull up and release so that we make fur so I'm gonna show you one right here we're not gonna do an all-around thing we're just gonna make dots so basically you're gonna and you know you're the first time out it might take a minute for it to come out because I have the frostings all the way there we go so push it down squeeze still squeeze while you pull up and release and see how that made fur okay so you're gonna go all around the cupcake but we want to make sure we leave maybe about three or four or however many you want openings for your purple spots oh I so, see for the purple spots exactly just leave a few openings so I'm just gonna go around squeeze pull up release squeeze pull up release squeeze pull up release so why don't you go ahead and do it with me so I see you do have to kind of bring it down into there and put yeah. some pressure on it I imagine the lodge it on bit of and pressure pull it up and pull oh, it up look at that I like to go all the way to the edges so that no cupcake shows when I'm doing this type of uh, cupcake so I, sometimes I go around the edges first uh -huh. But you can do it however you want, whatever feels good. I have to smile. Being a form boy, I can tell you that this is an awful lot like milking a cow oh, no. as we grab and we pull up and bring out. Look at that. It's That's excellent. so funny. I, it just happens to be how it feels. That's okay. so funny. Now, you know, sometimes it takes a little practice to get this, but you know, you're making like 24 cupcakes, so you'll have the <laughs> practice by the end of it, right? So just squeeze, pull up and release. And you know, some of his hair can be longer than others. And you know, that's fine. 
It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be fun, right? There. So I left a few holes for my purple. Well, yours looks pretty good. I believe I'm yours attempting a hair. little bit of a you're style. Getting, you are. You're, you're getting pretty uh, fancy over there. Okay. Okay. So when you're done with that part, you're going to pick up your purple. All right. Okay. And um, again, you're just going to cradle and palm your hand and put some pressure on it. Okay. And it's going to be the same exact way. You're just going to squeeze, pull up, and release. And you can put like, you know, I don't know, two or three in the same spot to kind of, however it looks good. So pull up, release. Pull up, release. I've seen people make perfectly round patches of fur, and I've seen people make very long fur. Um, we had one, uh, one, uh, one girl in our class recently. She, uh, she, she made all her fur go in the same direction because she said he had just brushed his hair. <laughs> so I thought that was fun. That was a lot of fun. So just squeeze, pull up, release. Well, that's really fun. That's nice. There. And there you have Sully. <laughs> you know, it is. It's, it's the essence of Sully. It's the really, essence really of nice. Sully. That's exactly what it. What fun. Excellent. So there. Nicely well, there you go. done. I feel very Nicely done. There. See? That's good. Now, do you want to make Mike Wazowski? Oh, are you kidding me? Let me take these away from you. Now, Mike yeah. Wazowski, is, we're going to use a little bit of different technique. Okay. I was just kind of picking that up off of here because uh -huh. we're going to roll some fondant. Oh. So Mike Wazowski, you know, when I look at him and get the essence of him, what do you, I don't know, what do you see when you well, see I, the essence of him? Well, I think it's, it's, it's one big eyeball. <laughs> he is. He's <laughs> one giant eyeball. Now, what we're going to do, because cupcakes are on the, you know, they're, they're small compared to cakes. Right. So I'm just going to make his cupcake one giant eyeball. The essence. The essence <laughs> of Mike Wazowski. And for him, we used... Here you go. We used uh, neon green. Makes sense. For frosting. And we use a different tip. Now this is much different. This is this this one wide has, open. Yeah, it has a wide open round hole. And it's tip number, and I keep getting, is it 12 or, it's tw it 12, 12. 12. But thank you. Because <laughs> I, I get it confused with the 21. So it's tip number 12. And what we want to do is, we're not going to build the cupcake up. We just need a place for the eyeball to go and give it okay. his color. So I'm gonna kind hold of a it resting a, pad. kind of a resting pad, and we're gonna put it different. Instead of you know dotting it like we did right. with the Mike Sully fur, we're gonna actually keep going all the way around till we get it covered. Okay. So you're gonna put pressure on your pastry on your icing bag until it goes all the Same way around. Way. Same exactly. Way. Now what we want to do too, I don't want to build it up to a tall cupcake. We might be doing that next month, but this month okay. <laughs> we'll be. Uh, we're just gonna start in a circle on the outside, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, when I start pressing, I'm gonna push it down to, to kind of spread out the frosting. Mm -hmm. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm gonna hold it right here. I'm gonna push straight down as I'm gonna go in a circle, and you see how I just let it kind of pull out yeah, as I go. Up, just kind of fill up, and then go in the center until it's all full. Oh, okay. Just like that. All right, I believe so, I can do that. Just like that. I'm excited to do that. <laughs> Nicely done. There you go. Get a little off track, oh no. That's okay. That happens. But it's fine, because we're going to cover most of it anyway with his eyeball. Okay. There you go. Okay, now we're going to set the cupcake aside for just a second, because now what we're going to make the eye out of is fondant. And fondant, you can, um, you can make your own fondant if you want. It's basically made out of corn syrup, powdered sugar, and a little water, okay. but you can also buy it. And this is a, you know, this is a white fondant. You can also color fondant if you want, or you can buy colored fondant, which is what I did here. It's what I have, three different colors. So, I'm pleased with that. So, this is some white fondant, which we'll be using for the white part of his eye. And, you know, I had already opened this and had used some, so what I do is I like to package it in plastic and keep it in the refrigerator. And then when you go to use it again, you'll want to take it out and let it kind of get to room temperature so it's not too hard to work with. But what fun it is, it's just kind of like Play-Doh that you it can eat. It looks like play -Doh. Yeah, right? It's because it's really a lot of sugar. So just, you're just going to tear off some. Okay. Okay. 
you know? Here, do you want you have that? Okay, yeah, here, let's get set. you another one. <laughs> let's tear off some for you. Now, you can roll it around in your hands and you can feel how pliable it is. And if your fondant starts getting too sticky, you're gonna add, you can add a little powdered sugar to it. Or just put even, put some in your hands. So if you put some in powdered sugar in your hands, so that's powdered sugar in there. Cause that's all fondant's made out of, is powdered sugar, corn syrup, and so I've seen on the, on the, decor, See, on the cupcake decorating shows yeah. that this, this is the material where they really get to design things and make things. Yeah, so fondant, since it is acts like Play-Doh, you can make it go into really any shape that you want. Now we're going to kind of roll it and we want to flatten it out and make an eyeball out of it. Now you can do this in a couple of methods. You can flatten it out with your fingers like you would maybe a pizza dough, which that could be fun making, making a mm -hmm. pizza. Oh, make a little dessert mini pizza dessert or regular pizza. pizza. <laughs> yeah, seriously. You can flatten it out with your fingers, start, or you can use like a rolling pin to roll it out a little bit. Now, you, don't need to, you don't need to roll it too hard because you also don't want to stick to the surface. And again, if it starts sticking, just put a little powdered sugar down or put some on your hands, put some around the fondant, and then that should solve that problem. So you're going to roll it out. Now, what you want to do is get it out. You know, make it as thin or as thick as you want it. I suggest a little bit thinner just because we're going to put the white part of the eye, the color part, the iris, and then a black pupil. So it's going to get pretty stacked there. So I can see what the powdered sugar does and it helps you, it helps it not be so sticky. Right. So helps it not be so sticky. If you find and it sticky, and on the, you just put a little powdered sugar yeah, on Yeah. And on the other hand, if your fondant gets too dry, you can put a little bit of water in your hands. I don't suggest putting water directly in the fondant, but put a little water on your hands, just like touch your touch your hands to some water a little bit and then work with it and get some moisture back into it. So, so once there. we have that circle of goodness. Yeah, that is what it is. It's a circle of goodness. So now you have to decide how big do you want this eyeball to be? Well, you can use a bunch of things. You can actually shape it with your hands if you want, or you can use some round cookie cutters or biscuit cutters. My mom always had biscuit cutters in the house, so I always have biscuit cutters. And there's all different shapes. And so what I like to do is just pull some out, kind of look at the size of my cupcake. I don't know, that might be too much of an eyeball. So maybe this size. So I think I'm going to use this size well, for my white part. I see that the white part is a major factor. The white part is. we're not is. doing the mouth. So, so. Oh, and you know what, that's another thing. Because like I said, we're going to just do the eyeball. I have done this before where I've done like a full cake and then cupcakes for a party. I mean, sometimes for a party you want both full cake and mm -hmm. cupcakes because cupcakes are easier to, to eat when there's a bunch of kids mm -hmm. around. But on the, the what I did was uh, the Sully as the cupcakes, but on the full cake I did a Mike Wazowski. And because there was more space, I you know used the fondant to also make a mouth. The mouth, okay. So, but I'm gonna cut this out like so and kind of pull it up. And you know, since it's going right on frosting, I'll move that to the side then I'm just gonna lay it right on top. It'll adhere because it's going right to the frosting. Just like so. Okay. Right? Got a little spackle on there and you did your job. Yeah, did my job. So All I got right. that part. So, I guess I'm so you here. can use whichever you want, right. whatever, whatever he looks like to you. you can color fondant the white actually colors very easily now how do you do that you put a little bit of the gel icing in it and you just you just kind of start folding it around and working it until the color is in there it'll start getting wet because you've added you introduced you know wet to it because with right. the liquid so you can put a little powdered sugar on it and um, dry it up but you can also buy it. They come in these these kind of packs. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's green. You can buy it in colors. So I bought a green for his eye. Are there different type greens, or is it all pretty much just? Um, green? you know, this is a primary green. So if you want a different type green, you might want to color it yourself. So I just got the primary green. So I gave you a piece there, and I'm just gonna start flattening it out with my hand to start with. It's kind of a little piece to roll out, but. You can roll it out too to get Of course, I want to use a tool. Exactly. And again, if it starts getting too sticky, 
you know, add a little powdered sugar. But now, since you're in a color, you have to make sure you don't add too much because then you're going to have to kind of get the uh, white powdered sugar pulled into it. Now, since we use this one for the white of his eye, we have to decide which color, which size do we want to use for the other part of his eye. Do we want to go a little bit smaller? Do we want to go bigger? I don't know. What do you think? Well, I don't know. Let me get mine rolled out. I'm roll mine out too. These now, I'm thinking thin on these so that it, it, it doesn't exactly. stack so much. A little thinner. And here it is again before you, um, well, I'll get to that when we go put them. These are very fun to make with kids. Now, we had kids in the workshops, and we had very young kids, and they had a great time, and they can still make this, right? Right. So it was pretty easy. I don't know which one. This one might make it too big. I'm gonna use this middle one okay, to make the, the, the his this part because we still have the pupil to go in too. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut that out and pop it out. So I'm gonna use that as that part. And you know, here's the thing. What's nice is that if you if you want to pull it out a little bit to make it a little bigger, you can. See how I'm just kind of right. pulling it. Now to adhere this, you can do it two ways. Again, you can wet your finger a little bit and make it wet, and it'll stick right to it. Or you can just take your frosting bag. Oh, more frosting, yes. Yeah, and That's just put it, you know, a little dab will do ya. All just right. enough to make some glue. And uh, smack that eye right on there. There you go. Perfect, right? So the next part is we want to add the pupil. Excellent. Because you can't see without the pupil part, <laughs> right? And this is so really going to be black. tiny. It comes in Two. black. Can you imagine? Now these all taste and the same. They all taste the same. Now you would think this might taste like black licorice, but it doesn't. It's still the same corn syrup, okay. powdered sugar, and uh, water. It's still it's just sweet. Gotcha. So you really just need a little bit of this. There's probably not a cookie cutter for this side that, that'll cut it, right. but you can just kind of, uh, you know, tear off, a bit. tear off a bit and don't forget to use your tear off if it's too much. Like I think that's too much. Just kind of roll it around. And, and use your palm in your hand and get a little circle. Can you use one of those frosting bags? Yeah, absolutely. Please. Thank you very much. Put a little dab on it of glue of sugary glue, mm -hmm. and then just uh, plop this on wherever you want, just like so. And there you have it. Mike Wazowski nice. made a cupcake. There He's you go. got a little green eye. He has a little green <laughs> eye, exactly. He so, hasn't got much sleep lately. Let's let's get our this looks figures so and much see how fun. they look. Pass those over to you. Now I think they look—they look exact, don't you uh -huh. think? Like seriously, look, look at that. No, what right? fun! Such fun! What fun! Easy. Anybody can. Anybody and in the family. Lots can do of them. stuff left over to make many more. Yes. Or to have a snack party later. Or to have a snack party later. Okay. Absolutely. So, well, this was fantastic. Uh huh. And uh, it seems like that at the at the workshop they get to work with different tips. They will. And um, on, we'll put a link to this on my teacher page on the libraryworkshops.com website. Mm -hmm. You go uh, meet your instructor, find my name, Robin Deitchman, and you'll find my teacher page. There is a list of resources there that okay. you can use. There's a link to my buttercream frosting recipe. And when you're doing a, a batch of cupcakes that are like 24 cupcakes or so, one batch of buttercream frosting will, uh, will, will work for that. All, all you're going to do, since you have three colors, is after you make it, divide it in half, and then take, and one will be blue and one will be green. But before you color it, take a little bit out of each so that you have enough to make the purple. And, and that will work. So there's a list for that. There's also a, you can download the guide to make the Monsters Inc. cupcakes, and it'll remind you of what the tips are and that type of thing, and kind of give you an idea of the colors. 
and um, there is a link. Um, I do have a shop on there. It's an Amazon shop, but it's really just links of all the supplies I'm using. Okay, so and if somebody were to follow you through, sure. just get the same gear that would be used in the Absolutely. Classes. And um, what I'm going to do, there is a, 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 a set of tips on there that's like a beginner set. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to stick to making cupcake designs out of that set. So if you really did want to learn how to make a lot of different ones, I'm going to stay to the tips that are in that set. There's a lot of tips in that so set. So there's, there's so no work. break between yeah. a kid's set and an adult set. No. Tips or tips? Tips or tips. Okay, this is tips great. Tips or tips. Thank you, Robin. So thank you. And thank you guys for joining us. We hope you had some fun. Go ahead, feel free, rewind it, do it all again. Have some, I just said rewind. Rewind. Uh, look at me. Old How old school. Guys, thank you so much. And again, uh, if you like this and you love the class already, remember there's a whole brand new set coming up next month and the month after. Um, it's going to be a whole Disney-inspired cupcake festival throughout the summer. Yeah. What fun. And what we'll do is, and, and I realize that a lot of them are nearly sold out and some are, but please feel free to bounce around to different libraries. As we mm -hmm. said, you do not need a library card and you do not have to be part of any district to enjoy what happens with library workshops. Gang, thanks so much. I'm Rod Deichman. And I'm Robin Deichman. And we'll see, see you, you at, at the, the library. library. Ha <laughs> ha!